Okay, we're going to be showing you how to do some plastic welding with some isopropyl alcohol. And one of your first steps you're going to need a glue stick to apply some of your uh, compounds. And what we have here is just a regular soldering iron. It's actually an SP146. It's uh, made by Weller. You can pick those up at Radio Shack, an electronic store. That's what we're going to be using to do plastic welding. There are a couple of different types of plastic welders, but that's what we're going to be using today. And this next thing that we have here is an epoxy that you can buy at any auto parts store. Uh, we reinforce our plastic wells with this two-part epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you how we do this. Uh, first step, what you need to do is get your surface area clean. Uh, and you want to do that with your isopropyl alcohol. And just put it on a Q-tip and clean the area that is either broken or damaged or whatever you're repairing um, and then after you get that cleaned off then we'll go through and show you how to do a couple spot wells to get everything lined up in place so okay next step what we need to do is take and spot weld this um, just so it stays in place I usually like to start in the middle and just connect the two pieces of plastic just by heating it up and then move the soldering iron out to the edges and just do three spot welds on a spot this size, then that way at least it's held in place. And then you'll go ahead and do your finish welding here in just a few seconds. Okay, your next step is what you need to do is take your soldering iron between the two broken halves and create a channel between them. Uh, this way you have somewhere to feed your new plastic into it, just like building, building a bridge. It's about the easiest way to explain it. Okay, next you want to take your soldering iron and fill in that channel. So you start on one adjoining piece and fill that towards your channel that you just created with your last step. And then do that on the opposite side as well. And you should create an even bridge between the two broken halves. Now in this next step, we've showed you another piece. This is a different type of a weld. This is actually broken completely in half, and we are going to spot weld it, and we'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, your first step, you want to go through and clean it just like the last one, and then we'll go through and spot weld it, um, and then we'll do our channel, and then we'll build a bridge and overlap the two pieces of plastic together uh, as we build that bridge, and you guys can watch and see how that works. Okay, it's kind of hard to see right here. My hands kind of get in the way, but, but you got two little spot welds. Um, that's going to hold that piece together. And watch and see how strong that is. It's just two seconds of welding and two little spots. 
All right, now we're gonna go and create our channel. We try to switch the camera here so you can see a little bit better. Create your channel in between the two broken pieces. And as you can see, there is a nice big Grand Canyon look there. When you get done with that, then you'll take one side and fill it into that crevice, into that canyon area. And from there, you will take the other portion and fold it over the top and overlap it. And if you do that, you'll have a really strong weld. We'll also take some of that epoxy that we showed you at the very beginning, and we'll go over the top of that with the actual plastic epoxy weld. Um, there are a couple different ways to weld. Um, this is just an inexpensive way. $8 soldering iron and about $3 for your epoxy, and you can pretty much repair anything. So there you go. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and, and post all your comments below.